Days ago at IFA in Berlin, we got a look at a pretty interesting development, the Marshall London. As a smartphone made by a speaker and audio company, we were definitely intrigued, and we were excited to get our hands on a review unit. Well, I've kept pretty mum about this, and I decided to wait until just after IFA to do this, but here it is. I actually have my hands on one thanks to Marshall. And now, it's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And here is your unboxing and first impressions on the Marshall London. And now here we are with the Marshall London. As you can see here, the phone is already pretty much in plain view on the box, even on the back right here uh, with the leather backing that Marshall makes a lot of their amps and their speakers out of. Personally, I have a Marshall Stanmore and I absolutely love the thing. Uh, but yeah, we have the Marshall London here and we're doing an unboxing because Marshall has added in a few really nice goodies with this particular phone. I've been really waiting to do this and I decided to wait until just after getting home from IFA in order to bring this to you. Now, starting off right away, we have have a pick right here in the middle. Now, the pick is one of Marshall's uh, signature icons right here, and it's what, you, it's what you get right off the bat. It doesn't seem like I can remove it though, which is perfectly fine. And there you go. Now, when you open up the cover, it's not even just the phone itself, it's covered up already. And of course, on the front there, their motto, long live rock and roll. So <laughs> I'm gonna put this aside real quick. It's gonna be a little bit unconventional compared to other unboxings where you just have the plastic on the front. We're actually going to unwrap this phone, which is really nice. Now, feasibly, you should be able to get spares for this phone. It might be a little bit tougher to find when compared to uh, you know phones like uh, older Samsungs or anything like that. But we do have the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that out. And you even have long live rock and roll as part of the battery design. So that's really awesome. Pretty funny. Ah, so here, here was what, here's what I was expecting when unboxing this phone. You have these Marshall headphones right here. Now I'm going to confirm what the actual name of these headphones are, but I actually have a pair of these already and they work really great. From what I can tell, this particular version, if I look closely, yes, there are three buttons there that you can use for any smartphone and they will control the music and the volume. And really, I can already test that these headphones are pretty awesome already. Now here's a really funny part about the charging cable. It also has a very unique design. Uh, it is made of a fabric rather than just a straight up plastic, uh, which is already pretty cool and should help when, in terms of uh, it tangling, so it probably won't tangle as easily. Then of course it has that ridged pattern design on the two ends, so really living up to the Marshall design language. And so here we are with the moment of truth. We're gonna go ahead and unwrap, I love that I can say that about this phone, the Marshall London right here. So, Marshall right there. All right, and then long live rock and roll once again. We'll pop that battery in and we can fire this baby up. <laughs> As if you're plugging into an amp, that's awesome. Now, of course, you're gonna be getting somewhat mid-range specifications here, definitely nothing flagship worthy, uh, but then again, they are focusing on the audio experience being what you're going to be using here. Going through some of the elements here, we are dealing with a pretty, oh, pretty standard version of Android here. Of course, the Android, I wanna say Lollipop, of course. Let's see exactly which version it is, 5.0.2. Uh, and hopefully there'll be some updates in the future, but we already have some of that Marshall style here. That clock right there is one that I really wish that I could have for plenty of other phones. And then right over here, 101. Uh, I'm sure it's pretty easy to recreate, but it's nice that it's already there off the bat. If we go to the top right here, you see this, this Marshall button right here. Just go ahead and hit that button and it will bring down the audio player. Now what's great is Marshall has integrated a number of different streaming players like SoundCloud, Spotify, uh, and Mixcloud, but you can also always have your local music on there as well. And what you do is you can just play it on here. I'll sign into my Spotify soon enough and bring you how that sounds. Uh, but really the local files at FLAC, if you do a lossless quality uh, sound file, it's probably where you're going to get the most out of here. All right, so going through the Marshall London right here, uh, I did already put on some of my applications uh, after I turned on this particular device, just so you can get some examples of what the Marshall London is actually like. Uh, now we do have a lot of elements from stock Android. This is a pretty vanilla version of Android with a few extra things built in, some nice features. And I also found out that the volume roller, as we'll call it over here, you can actually press it and it's a shortcut to the camera. Now we have an eight megapixel camera on the rear, a two megapixel camera on the front. Uh, and as I click on that, press in on the 
roller over here, and there we are on the camera. The display is 720p, uh, which might be a little bit of a uh, disappointment, but 4.7 inches is the size here, and 720p works just fine on smaller displays like this anyway. But we'll get into more of that in our full review. Underneath the surface, we do have the Snapdragon 410, which is a little bit more low spec, uh, and I have already seen some of the slowdown in trying to install the applications that I wanted to put on here, uh, but nothing really too out of the ordinary for something like the Snapdragon 410. And it is backed by a Cirrus Logic sound card. You may know Cirrus Logic as Wolfson, but now they have that new name, and that is what you have here for audio processing. So you'll be able to get hi-fi audio, uh, everything from FLAC files to lossless audio on here. And of course, if you were to hit the button up here, you get the Marshall uh, amp right here that will allow you to change in the uh, equalizer exactly what you want the sound to be like. So that's the kind of processing that you need. And of course you have the dual setup of the headphones up here. So I pointed my microphone this way to the Marshall London to give you an example of what the sound would be like just in this first impressions here. And uh, from what I can tell already from my Spotify working through this particular application, I do think it's already pretty great. Uh, the speakers are up here on the top and here on the bottom underneath the Marshall logo. And what I'm going to do here is just give you an example using the hip hop uh, equalization. Uh, so you can see that the bass is being bumped up, the mids are kind of brought down a little bit more, and we're trying to uh, do the more extremes here for hip hop songs. So we we have this one right here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Actually, one thing I did notice is that the Marshall button application doesn't really work with this version of Spotify just yet. That's just been my first impression thus far. I've been able to get it to pause the music, but it's kind of in and out. So I wonder if there's a software thing going on right now. But we do have this uh, Korean hip hop song right now that we're going to do right here. To all the heart broke. Nah, never mind. Not anymore. Let's just do some Bruno Mars uh, just for the heck of it because there's a lot of stuff going on there. And of course, we have. Let's go back and hit Uptown Funk. I'm too hot. Call the police and the firemen. I'm too hot. Make a dragon wanna retire, man. I'm too hot. I have to say, undoubtedly, my favorite part about the Marshall is its look. You just don't get a phone that looks like this with Marshall's amp design over on the side, and then of course the features that are underneath. Uh, the volume rocker is really fun to use as well. It just kind of works like a analog to digital input. Uh, really, it just all it does is just make the volume go up or down, but really it's a lot of fun to use it, and it feels very analog, uh, despite this being, of course, a full digital smartphone. And then of course you have the ports on top for headphone jack and whatnot. I I'm going to be testing the audio quality of these using Marshall's own headphones and then maybe a couple of other ones uh, because obviously with Bluetooth you kind of get a general standard for all of them so really the, 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 the actual action is going to be up here. Uh, and then of course that Marshall button up top which gives this a pretty unique feel. Now before you say that this phone is actually one that um, is just a rebranded let's say Chinese phone that actually is not the case. They told me at Showstoppers at IFA in Berlin that this phone was completely designed in Sweden and then manufactured for sale in England and across parts of Europe. No, this phone's not coming to the US, though I did tell them that if I were to review this phone, maybe I can make a case for the fact that this phone should come to the West because a lot of people love Marshall products here in the United States and we should really get more of them. Uh, so with that in mind, we're going to uh, go ahead and get into our full review of this. I'll be listening to a lot of music, podcasts, anything. This phone was marketed as not only being a phone for just rock and roll listeners, but for literally any other genre and any other form of music. Music. So that's exactly.